welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to start winter sewing again. Last year, if you were here, you probably watched a video that I show you when I started a bunch of containers, uh, empty water bottles that I tried to use for winter sewing. I had 100% failure at fail at germinating those seeds that were in there. I literally took the advice of put them outside and forget about it type of thing. So I'm going to try again this year. I am doing it a little bit different. My friend Maureen from Parsons Peonies on Instagram did a, a few stories and she actually has them on her highlights about how she's switching to this technique sort of thing. It's the same idea, you put them outside, you keep on watering them, uh, you try to you know keep an eye on them and hopefully they work for me this year. And I like that. So hopefully I, I get some results. I know it's a little bit in the year to start doing this, but everybody that does winter sewing tells me that it's, it's still a good time that I'm not too late. So I am going to show you really quick what I'm going to be using, how I'm going to put it together, and hopefully maybe you try it this year or next year. So I am going to try this guy right here. Uh, this is just an empty clear clear very important clear uh, tub or tote and i i love it and i make sure to put a bunch of uh, holes on the top for the water or snow to get in and i also have drainage holes here at the bottom um, i marine said that she wants to make sure that the water goes in so that each container has uh, water coming in so i got like tons of holes here but I only have like six holes right here on the back. Hopefully you can see it. And the idea is to use these containers, which I already have these containers from last year. I probably got annuals here. Um, I don't actually remember, but I save a lot of my containers because I am probably going to reuse them later. These are great for putting up tomatoes or peppers or in this case starting your winter sowing. So I had a lot of these guys. I am using regular potting mix and I have a bunch here that uh, are going to fit nicely in my clear containers. All of these have uh, drainage holes at the bottom already but if you're using something like solo cups, which she mentioned that she was using before, make sure to have drainage hole for the containers where your seeds are going to be uh, going in. So let me show you the seeds that I hope to start and hopefully I can give you an update here in a couple of months. Okay, so I am going to start with Let's just see. I'm going to start with these poppies. I have never tried them in my garden, but I am excited to see how they do. I have two varieties here. I have one in a Zippo bag because it was, the seeds were getting everywhere. So this guy is from Baker Creek's Fallen in Love Poppy. And I think that it's going to be amazing if it comes through. And I have this one from Botanical Interest. This one is a black swan. I think it's a very popular between gardeners. We'll see how they do. Um, these are the two varieties that I'm uh, hoping to start. I am trying some Cosmos. These are a double Dutch rose, beautiful purple color. And I have another variety here, which is a double click Cosmos. These are the ones that I started last year. They were beautiful. And I have noticed that people that are doing winter sewing do try to do Cosmos or have good success with Cosmos. So um, I'm hopeful for those. I have this guy. This is a Verbena Bonariensis. Um, I, I did not have good luck with this last year with, um, Winter sun, obviously, and also indoors, they did not germinate for me. So what I did is that I got new seeds. I got a fresh new set of seeds for this year. Uh, maybe the seeds weren't that viable, I don't know. I am trying them again this year. I'm actually going to try them indoors as well. So we'll see. And I have two types of scaviosa. I have never tried scaviosa in my garden. And look at this color. Isn't that just 
gorgeous. Look at the rich burgundy color. So excited about that. This one is a Black Knight. And I have this uh, Fata Morgana Scabiosa. Man, if I get a couple of plants from these, I will be really, really excited. And again, for some of these or a lot of these, I am going to try to grow them indoors as well. Most of these seeds that I am trying for winter sowing are going to be sort of, we'll see how they do, but I'm not relying on them to make it. I'm just trying to see if the technique works and we'll see how they do. But I'm trying a bunch of these inside as well. I have uh, Bells of Ireland. I have seeds from last year. I did have some success last year germinating this indoors, but they weren't really um, that great by the time that I was going to put them outside. I don't know what happened. I'm trying them for winter sowing, uh, only for winter sowing. I'm not gonna try them again indoors this year, so we'll see. Uh, I have these Amidara seeds from last year. Um, I, I don't think that I tried these last year indoors. If I did, I don't remember because they didn't make it. Um, but we'll see with winter sowing. And I didn't even realize that I still have seeds for um, these fax gloves, Dalmatian peach from Florid. Uh I have a whole whole container here uh, of at least at least 15 seeds. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start them from seed indoors and I'm going to give them a try for winter sowing as well. This right here, I don't know if they're gonna work. We'll see how they do. Again, I'm not relying on them for making it to the garden. I am going to try them indoors as well. Kiss me over the garden gate. They are gorgeous from Baker Creeks. And the last one is this milkweed. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, I got these, I believe, from Baker Creeks. Uh, we'll see. So these are all the seeds that I have here. Um, I'm just going to show you really quick how I'm going to cover them. Nothing really special how I'm going to start the seeds. I'm just going to make sure that um, they touch the potting mix and I might cover them a little bit. And I am going to water these heavily. Once I'm done with all of these and then I'm putting them in the container where they're going, I am going to give them lots of water before I put them outside and they'll go. And then I'll hopefully I'll show you in a couple of days where they're going. So I am done putting all of the seeds, putting all the labels on the little containers. I like this tote again because I can just seal it and it has all the drainage holes on top and drainage holes at the bottom. I ended up not uh, doing my Kiss Me Over the Garden Gate and my Cosmos because I ran out of containers. I thought that I had more than what I actually had. But I am going to put this outside. I am going to keep it in one of my raised beds where probably on the exact same place where I had my containers last year. And I am going to give them lots of water and hopefully here in a couple of months, I can maybe check in and see how they're doing. I can give you an update. I am definitely going to be keeping an eye on them better. I am not going to uh, just let them be and forget about them. I'm actually going to maybe weekly put a timer on my phone where I can just check the water, check that they're doing well, make sure that the drainage holes at the bottom are not, you know, just stuck and they're not sitting in water. So wish me luck. And if you guys are doing winter sowing or already started, uh, let me know how it's going for you. Have you been doing it for a while? Tell me what flowers or even what vegetables you start with winter sowing. Thank you for being here and until the next time.